Advent Family Devotional, December 19th The Suffering Hero from Isaiah 53 The next day he saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John 1:29. Hey, our kids. So tonight's story is called The Suffering Hero, and it's from Isaiah 53. And per usual, I have my helpers, Mr. Olaf. I don't know if you can see him hiding over here. Mr. Cooper, he's all dressed up, ready, wearing his winter best. He's ready to listen. Hopefully, he'll be a better helper than last time. Alrighty, are we ready? Ready, guys? Here we go. Isaiah was a good prophet. God gave him messages to tell people, and Isaiah obeyed, and he told people. One time, God gave him a message for Israel. God is holy. He is all good with no bad, and he wants to live with his people. But people are not holy, so they can't be close to God. They need a hero to rescue them, change them, and bring them close to God. Isaiah told, told Israel that God's hero wouldn't be like any other heroes they've known. Can you guys think of some heroes that you know? I think of some of those movies, right? Like Superman, Batman, they come flying in with a cape. I wonder if those are the heroes that they thought of too. But. This hero wouldn't be like any that they knew. This hero wouldn't be handsome or have a lot of money. He would be hated and rejected by people. In fact, people would kill him. Well, that doesn't sound like the heroes that I know. Oh, this must be a really different kind of hero. This hero would be hurt and crushed because of all of the bad things that other people have done. He would be punished for the sins of everyone to bring peace between the world and God. Through his body's cuts and bruises and pains and aches, people would be healed in their hearts. Whoa, that's a pretty cool hero who would take all that pain and hurt because I am not holy? Wow. This hero would be like a lamb being prepared to be killed as a sacrifice. The lamb is silent as the weight of its wool is cut off. It submits to the only one in charge. This hero would be silent as he was led to his punishment. He would not shout out or fight or struggle he would submit to the one in charge. The message God gave Isaiah was for the people of Israel. But the hero in this message, guess whose hero he is? He's our hero, you guys. We get him too. We need a hero who is perfect, like a spotless lamb to be the sacrifice for our sins. We need a rescuer to heal our hearts and help us come close to God again like Adam and Eve were, and to be able to live with him. How cool. This is a really special hero, you guys, because he cares about bringing us close to God. And he's not that fancy hero that we might picture. He's way better because he's going to take the pain and suffering that we should get just so we can be close to God. That's the kind of hero I want. How about you guys? What do you think? Do you agree? Do you agree, Cooper? Do you want that hero? You do? All right, hopefully you guys do too. We'll keep listening on these stories. Good night, our kids. Family discussion. What makes someone a hero? Who is your hero?
Family Prayer Thank God for sending Jesus to be our hero.